Good morning, friends. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Today is Monday, April 6th. Today is our first virtual distance learning, and today we're just going to review how to write our names properly. And remember, we've been learning to use a capital letter for the first letter in our name, and then the rest are all lowercase. And then next, we're going to review all the letters and the letter sounds in our names. And then we will review letter sounds for letters A through O, and then tomorrow we'll do the rest of the alphabet. And then we can finish up our circle time by reading a story together. Anytime during our lesson, you can pause our video and take a break, or if you need to go get something and come back. So right now would be the perfect time to pause our video so you can go get a piece of paper and something to write with. You can use a marker, a crown, a color pencil, or a regular pencil. I'm going to use our favorite whiteboard and a drawing marker. Once you get back, I want you to use your marker or whatever you chose to bring with you to write with to write your name. I'm going to write my name while you guys write your name. See how I made sure to make sure my first letter was a capital C. Even though lowercase c and uppercase c look alike, the uppercase c is a lot bigger. So this is my name. It says Candace. My letters in my name are C, A, N, D, I, C, E. And another thing you could do with your name to make it a little fun too is count how many letters do you have. In my name I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Why don't you take a turn counting how many letters you have in your name? Now that you've finished counting the letters in your name, let's look at our letter sounds. We can do my name first as an example, and then we can do your name. I have a C. Do you guys remember what sound C makes? You're right, it makes the cu, cu, cu sound. The same sound as the letter K, so it gets a little bit tricky. Our next letter is letter A, like A, ah, A ah, for apple. Our next letter is letter N. Do you guys remember what sound N makes? Good job. It makes a N sound. N, N, N. Next letter is letter D. D, D, D. You guys always like doing letter D because then it makes it the sound like the letter D for dog. Next letter is a little tricky. It's the letter I. It can make two sounds. I, I, or I, I. Like I, I, ice cream or I. I, igloo. So that one's tricky. We're here again at the letter C. Do you guys remember what sound it makes? Good job. It makes a cu, cu, cu sound. And then our last letter is letter E. It makes a I, I, I sound. Can you guys try it with your name now? Okay, now that we've done our names, we're going to go through the alphabet. This letter is what letter? It is the letter A for apple. And he has some silly eyes in the middle that like to watch you. Letter A makes the ah, ah sound. Can you guys repeat? Ah, ah, apple. Oh, this one we have a bear. B is for bear. And the B sounds, it goes ba, ba, ba. And all of these pictures have silly names, like the bear's name is Benny the Bear. Our next letter is C. C is for cat. He makes the ka, ka, ka sound. And do you see the cats in the shape of a C too? Our cat's name is Callie the Cat. What letter is this? Good job, it's D, your favorite letter. Do you remember what sound it makes? It makes a duh, duh, duh sound for duck. Our duck's name is Dudley the Duck. 
Our next picture is of an elephant. Elephants start with the letter E that make the I, I, I sound. Our elephant's name is Edna the elephant. And now you guys realizing that every animal's name starts with the same letter. Edna starts with E. Our next picture is a picture of a fish. What sound does fish start with? You can sound it out. Go f, f. Oh, F is for fish. Fish makes a f, f, f sound. Good job. Our fish, fish's name is Fiffy the fish. That's a silly name. Our next picture is of a goose. And he's a little silly too. He has a silly hat on. Do you guys remember the sound G makes? It makes a g g g sound. And our goose's name is Greddy the Goose. Oh, this is a picture of a horse. Horses start with the letter H. The letter H makes the sound ha ha ha. Our horse's name is Haiti the horse. This is a picture of an iguana. Iguana starts with the letter I. And just like we talked about before, eyes can make two different sounds. So then this is a picture of an iguana. You can hear it in the beginning, I, I, iguana, instead of I, 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 like ice cream. Our iguana's name is Iggy the Iguana. Our next picture is of a little girl, and she is doing what you guys love to do also outside. She is jumping rope. When you say the letter J, what sound does it make? I think it sounds like J, 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 jump rope. Or it could be J, 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 jumping. Our little girl's name is Jumping Jill. Our next picture is a picture of a kangaroo and her baby. Do you guys remember what the baby's called that lives in mommy's pouch? That's Joey. The sound for letter K is the same sound as the letter C, so it's a little tricky, but it makes a sound k k k like in kangaroo. Our kangaroo's name is Keely the kangaroo. Our next picture, what is this? I know some of our friends love this animal. This is a lion. Lion starts with the letter L. And the L makes a sound, l, l, lion. And our lion's name is Larry the lion. And have you guys noticed that every one of our pictures almost is a silly animal? Our next picture is of a mouse. Mmm, mm, mouse. What letter sound does M make? It makes a m, m. So your lips go together. Mouse. The mouse's name is Mimi the mouse. And she's eating a bite of cheese. Oh, our next letter looks a little tricky. This is Nile, the noodle. Can you get a good look? I wasn't sure what it was when I saw it at first. N is for n, n, noodle. And N makes the n sound. And our last letter for today is the letter O for octopus. O makes a sound going O for octopus. Those two make two different sounds, too, depending on the word. His name is Ozzy the Octopus. Now, I want you guys to take your paper that you grabbed so fast and quick and with your writing utensil or maybe a different one. And I want you to write the beginning letter of your name. I want you to write the uppercase letter and the lowercase letter. So my name will have a big C and a little c just like that and I want you to practice saying what the letter sound for your first name is mine is k k k 
cup or canvas? What is yours? Good job. You guys did such a good job. I want us to take a break from our learning and I want to read a story to you. And this story is called It's Monday, Miss Jolly Beans by Warner Hanson. And do you guys remember where we find the author? This book's a little tricky because usually we find the author down here. But they stuck the author in the middle of the book. That is so silly. And then always remember the title is at the top. You will most of the time you always find the title up here and if I open the book like this and we're looking at the story do you think this is the front of the book or is this the front of the book good job you're right this is the front and this is the back because when I close it you see the title and the author and our illustrator down here and do you guys remember what our illustrator does he draws all the pretty pictures that you see and the author, he writes all the words so we know what the story is about. But sometimes books don't have an author. They just have an illustrator and they want you to be the author of the story and make up the story by yourself. So let's see what happens to Miss Jolly Bones. Do I see the front of the picture? Does she look happy or mad or maybe a little curious? I think she looks happy and curious. And you guys always love to point out the animals. What animal is this? I think it's a turtle. Maybe it's Miss Jolly Bones' pet. It's Monday. Miss Jolly Bones, there's laundry to be done. Oh my goodness, look at all her animals. That's a lot of pets to have in your house. So gather up the dirty clothes and sort them one by one. When you do laundry, you like to sort your colors. So you have all your whites together and your darks together so they don't get all mixed up. And it looks like the animals are helping Miss Jolly Bones sort all of her clothes. First you wash them and then you dry them and then you iron them and fold them nice and neat then fling them out the window. Do you guys fling your clothes out the window? That would be so silly. And look at Miss Jolly Bones. She, she thinks she might get stuck in the washer. So they brighten up the street. Hmm. Does everybody look happy? I don't think this guy looks very happy. He looks a little angry. How would you feel if people were throwing clothes out? I bet you guys would laugh because you guys would think this is so funny. Now it's Tuesday. Miss Jolly Bones, there's some ga gardening to do. The peas and the beans need weeding and the squash needs water too. Now hoe those rows of onions and keep the corn stalks growing high. You guys see the tomato and there's some squash and that looks like a zucchini. And some pretty sunflowers. And there's a cow. I think he's helping her. Then polka dot through the posy patch and make those flowers fly. Now she threw the laundry out the window. And now she's throwing all her garden flowers out the window. Now it's Wednesday. Miss Jolly Beans, it's time to clean the house. So wear your worn out overalls. Put on your oldest blouse and sweep all the floors. Shake all the rugs and shine the sink and the tub. She has a lot of work to do. Then step into the toilet bowl and give yourself a scrub. Uh-oh. Are we supposed to take a bath in the toilet? That would be pretty stinky. I take my showers in a shower. Where do you take yours? Probably not in a toilet. And look, she has a bathtub right there. Miss Jolly Bones is a little silly. Do you guys know what day comes after Wednesday? 
We did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now it's Thursday. Good job. This Jolly Bones, the cupboards are getting bare. That means the food is being eaten and it's empty now. You must get to the market or to the grocery store. There are shop suppers to prepare. Supper is another word for dinner. Get peanut butter, pickled herring, prunes, and sausage links. Then cook them all in cabbage juice until the kitchen stinks. And now it's Friday. Miss Jolly Beans, it's a perfect day to bake. Get flour, sugar, milk, and eggs and make a birthday cake. I wonder whose birthday it could be. And add lovely decorations. Little roses would be nice. Do you guys see her cake? It looks a little messy and it may fall over. Then fire up the power saw and cut yourself a slice. Do you guys see what happened to the cake? They used a saw like what you use for a construction on a building. What do you think they should have used instead? You're right. They probably needed a knife. Next, what day comes after Friday? We've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and now it's Saturday. A day for Miss Jolly Bones to play. The food and the clothes and the tools and the brooms have all been put away. Invite the ladies over. I wonder if she's going to have a party with her friends. Share some gossip over tea. That means they're going to talk. And then clear away the furniture. I wonder what they're going to do. They're moving all the couches and the chairs and the lamps and the tables. Maybe they're going to have a dance party. And they wrestled recklessly. You guys love to wrestle outside. It's probably better to wrestle outside than inside. Because look at all the mess they're making. The lamps are flying. There's broken vases and flowers on the floor. This is a big mess. What do you guys think she's going to have to do now that she's made a big mess? She spent all week cleaning, and now she's going to have to clean all over again. Now it's Sunday. Miss Jolly Bones, a day for you to rest. Put pillows around yourself and make a cozy nest. Enjoy a glass of buttermilk, a cookie, and a nap. That sounds so nice. And look at all of her animal friends laying in bed with her. Then yodel until midnight with a chicken in your lap. Yodeling is like singing. You did it, Miss Jolly Bones. You finished up your week. You did your daily chores with a, so with a style that's quite unique. But when tomorrow morning comes, oh, what will you do then? Do you guys remember what Miss Jolly Bones does on Mondays? It's Monday, Miss Jolly Bones. Let's do it all again. Now, I know you guys love to pick out your favorite book in the story, so I'm going to take a second and pick out my favorite book. And if you want, you can scroll back and find your favorite page. I think my favorite page was when Miss Jolly Bones was throwing all the laundry out of the window because it made a bigger mess than she wanted to. Did you guys like that story? Okay, well now I want you guys to write It's Monday, Miss Jolly Bone on a piece of paper. I'm going to write it on the whiteboard so you guys can copy it. So grab your paper and your writing utensil. And I'm going to write it real quick and then you guys can copy it.
so this is what your writing should look like. And now would be a good time to pause the video with this screen up so you can see all the letters we wrote. And it may be backwards. I'm not sure what it looks like on your screen, but on my screen it's backwards. But mommy and daddy can help you. And since we don't have our journals, you don't have to worry about staying in the lines. But if you want to do extra practice, you could make some lines to write on so your words stay in a nice, neat line right in the right order. And you guys know on Mondays we read our story and we write the name of the story and then what do we do after? We pick out markers or crowns or colored pencils and we draw our favorite page in the book. So that may be a little tricky today since our distance learning is on the computer, but you can scroll backwards and look for your favorite page or you can make up what you think Miss Jollybones does on Monday since it's a new day. Maybe she does something different on Monday, or maybe she does the same thing all over again. I want to review <clears throat> one last time with you guys before we go your letter sounds. Since tomorrow, we are going to move on to our next letter sounds. And we'll just do it quickly. We won't go over all the names, but we'll look at each letter. A makes the A, A sound for apple. And B makes the b, b, b sound for bear. C makes the k, k sound for cat. And D makes the d, d, d sound for duck. And E makes the i, i sound for elephant. And F makes the sound for fish. And G makes the g, g sound for geese or goose. Geese is when there's more than one. And H makes the h, h sound for horse. And I makes the i, i sound or i, i sound for iguana. And J makes the j, j, j sound for jumping or jump rope. And K makes the k, k sound for kangaroo. L makes the l, l sound for lion. M makes the m, m sound for mouse. N makes the n, n, n sound for noodle. And O makes the ah, ah, ah sound for octopus. You guys did such a great job and I miss you so much. I cannot wait to see you guys again and for us to do learning. And parents, right now, I'm going to write down a couple websites for you and for your child that will help reinforce beginning sounds and other activities that you can use along the way as we do this. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to Anna and she will forward everything to me and we can keep track that way. Um, the first website that the kids love to use is called ABC yeah. and this one there is a pre-k section but since we're doing beginning sounds and a lot of advanced material, there's also a K section when you get to choose what category you want and what age group. So depending on what your child wants to do, you can go to the K section or you can go to pre-K. I encourage you to do the K section to give them a little bit of a challenge. Another website that we like to use is ABC Mouse. I know right now they are running a special so you don't have to pay the monthly fee. I'm not sure how long it goes, but if it gets us through the month of April, you can use that. And then another one for our rainy days is Go Noodle. This is a very interactive dancing yoga, get your wiggles out that the kids really love to do. You may have to move some furniture like Miss Jolly Bones did in her story to make space for dancing. But I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see the websites and take things down. And I will see everybody tomorrow. I hope you have a great evening and eat a good dinner and take a good nap and sleep well tonight so you're ready to learn some more tomorrow. Bye, guys.